Well, it's the first day like this to describe just getting back out the field. Oh, it's great, yeah. Getting back on the grass, um, just getting back out there playing some football again. We've been working hard in the offseason. It's over kind of now. So, you know, a lot of our focus is just on playing the game of football. Um, honestly, I really felt really good where we were at today um, from just the amount of stuff we've already kind of started, and, you know, with our offense, just, you know, how what it's going to look like in the fall. Um, put a lot of stuff in already, and guys are picking up on it quick. Uh, like I said, I think I've said this before, but in spring we're keeping it very basic, keep, keeping it very generic, and uh, yeah, the guys responded well today. I was really, really happy to see it. Not so much today, but how much goes into trying to learn what each receiver does well? I mean, that's just day by day. Um, like you know, you get the off, you get in the off season, like June and July, you, know, you try to throw with them. You just start to build chemistry. Um, we had an idea, especially through spring ball, of what we were going to, what positions guys were going to be in, um, and what they could do. Uh, I still think that's still going on, you know, even through fall camp. But guys are starting to really solidify themselves and kind of what they're doing. Um, but yeah, no, hopefully in the off season, you know, watch the film, in spring, and then just working with them through June and July, trying to dial that stuff in. I'm not sure we asked you last week, but working with MJ, just was the dynamic between the two guys. Mm -hmm. Honestly, mean? it's really good. I mean, we both, you know, we're both competing. I think that's what's going to bring the best out of us every day. Um, I've always tried to be an open door for him. I think he's picked up on the offense really quickly. So, not really too many questions from him. Uh, there's maybe little things here and there, but uh, just being an older guy and knowing the offense, I just always wanted to be that open door for people. I think helps people travel the best they can do in life and also, no matter if it's football or anywhere outside of this facility. So, um, that's why I try to be towards them. Um, but we're also competing. So, it's a, it's a good dynamic, but I think it's going to bring the best out of both. Rosner wasn't here in the spring. Mm -hmm. What's it like seeing him? I guess a big target out there. Yeah, so he's living with me right now. He's going to be with me until he gets a place here at Raleigh. But so I'm bunked up with him. So we'll have some time. I've had some time with him already. He's a really good dude. Um, super chill. Uh, but it was good to see him out there today. I, honestly, I saw him making a good amount of plays. Has great hands already from what I saw. Um, but that's going to develop. We're going to see how that goes. You know, it's day one. We'll see how it is. You know, week two in the fall camp. So. Um, but I'm, I'm happy for, for him being here and the opportunity he's got, and uh, we'll see where it goes, right? How about you and Coach Nate? How about you and Coach Nate? Just kind of being out there, especially with the uh, success you guys had two years ago, just being together again, and the chemistry that you guys had on the first day of practice. Yeah, it was good. I mean, I'm so used to him out in the field now. He is out in the field, and he kind of is pretty used to me, how I am out in the field. So the dynamic's pretty good. We understand each other. Um, I know how things are going to be called in a sense, like just his thoughts a little bit. I'm not, you know, obviously in his head, but and you know exactly what he's thinking. But I have a good idea. Um, so certain things get called in, and I'm just like, okay, yeah, I kind of saw that coming. So that type of dynamic. And then just like, you know, we were just walking off the field right here, and he just, you know, how's it feel? We'll be back in the offense, you know. He always calls me Big Fella. So that's kind of, it's like, how's it feel, Big Fella? Um, so yeah, it's good just to talk with him, just like that. It's always great too. But um, yeah, I think hopefully the, the chemistry. Um, Get shown on the field. How does that translate to the rest of the offense? Uh, you guys out there, especially with them all getting used to you and you know, as a starter. Uh, I think the I mean, I think just in general, I think the guys like him. Coach and I, you know, he's like some, you know, older, you know, funny guy. You know, especially in the meeting rooms, I think guys are really gluing on to him and just his personality. Um, so I think that just I think just that alone, no matter like the football side of things, I think guys enjoy enjoy, enjoy being around him, and hearing him talk. Um, so. Hopefully, you know, that translates on the field and guys like to play for him and guys, you know, you know not respect, but obviously respect him, but just, you know, want to go out there and play for him too. And they're, you know, they're position coaches. All right, let's bring uh, Coach up.